In this video we're going to show you how the new feature of displaying the cambered beams. So I create a quick bridge uh, using my wizard. So I'm going to edit this beam and apply the options to show the deflected beam. So I start with the beam definition and this second option, the first and second already existed, but then here we specify the minimum clearance that I'm expecting and the camber that uh, I may have calculated already or maybe I'm trying so I will copy that definition to all the beams and well it will show the beams that are deflected uh, the camber could be applied to all the beams the same it could be or it could be different for every beam on every span so if I um, display off some of the elements in my explorer you can see that the beam clearly shows their deflection now the other option that we introduce in this release uh, to show this is an option to specify a different hunch at the beginning, at the end of the beam, and also a hunch in the middle. Right? So we can apply that as I'm showing, uh, but also this uh, definition we could be copied to all the beams in all the spans or individual uh, def definitions can be done as well. And then we display the deflected beam according to our numbers. Now this will provide a better hunch calculations and uh, maybe you want a more accurate particle clearance.